Hi peoples and welcome to our lesson on angles around a point. In today's lesson you will be able to calculate missing angles around a point. Now in the real life link will be things such as solving uh, mechanical problems, engineering, estimation and other geometry related real world issues. As for the keywords you'll look at things like degrees, angles, acute, obtuse and etc. And the required equipment is written on the screen as follows. Now, Angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So I have all these angles over here. I'm saying that A at B at C at D, this would equal to 360 degrees. Okay? Because we have a whole point around here. That there's a point, and everything around that point will add up to 360 degrees because that is how much there is in a full turn. Therefore, angles around a point will add up to 360 degrees. So let's look at some examples now. First, we were given a angle that looks something like this. So if I were to draw it, it'd be something like like this. So this is 135 degrees. This is x, and that would be 70 degrees. Okay. Now we have a whole point over here, and we have two, three angles inside it. One of the angles we don't know. That's what we want to work out. We know two of them, and we know the total point as well, don't we? Because we know it's a full turn. We know that the full turn is always going to be equal to 360 degrees, right? Add a little degrees over here as well. Or we'll dot there, sometimes when you have a thick marker. But anyway, knowing that this is 360 degrees, what we can do to get x is, if we know that the whole thing is 360 degrees, we can subtract the 70 away, and we can subtract the 135 away. I literally look at it, like if I take it away from the 360, we get left with just x. So let's do that in mathematical terms. Well, 135 add 70, that's going to be a total of 205. So I'm taking away the 135 and I'm taking away the 70. So I'm taking a total of 205 away. I'm just saying it like that. I'm adding these two together so I can do the subtraction in one go. Now from here, I can do the subtraction as normal. And that would give me 155 degrees. Okay. Good. Now, let's look at the question below. We're given an angle that looks something like this. Right? So these are our angles, and then we have this one at 57 degrees. We have this one at x, something we don't know. And we have this one at 210 degrees. Similarly now, remember this is still a whole point, isn't it? So it's going to be a total of 360 degrees. Now in this whole point, if we were to take away 210 from this point, and we were to take away 57 from this point, that's that. Look what we're left with. We're left with just x, exactly what we want. Now, once again, you can do 360, take away 210, and whatever your answer is, take away 57. Or you can just do 210 and 57, which will be 267, right? The 5 at the 50 at the 10s, and so on. And you can subtract this entire thing away from 360, and that would give you an answer of 93 degrees. Again, I expect you to know how to do your subtraction, which is why I'm going quickly through this. All right, so now I want you to have a go at these questions. Again, um, the method is still the same. You still have the 360 degrees, and you want to find the missing x out. Have a go, of course, pause the video, and once you're ready, I'll also go through it. Okay, so hopefully now that you've had a go, I'll also go through this question for you quickly. So we have our point, x is over here becomes 301 degrees. Well, over here, there's just one angle that's basically, there's only two angles in total that make it 360, and there's only one that we, that we need to take away. And that's a 301. 360 take away 301. This would give us a total of 59 degrees for our x over here. Okay. Now, this next question. As you can see, now there's a total of three angles that makes up our 360 degrees. Two of them we have, 122 and 160. X is what we're trying to find out. So we need to take away the 122 and 160 away. So I'm going to add these two together. That would give me 282. And then I could just do some column method to calculate this. You know, borrow one from here. Add over here. 10 take away 2 is 8. Borrow another one. Make that 2. 15 take away 8 is 7. And then 2 take away 2 is nothing. So 0. And so our angle over here is 78 degrees. So if you got these two, give yourself a tick. 
So now that you've had a go at a few questions, we've got some questions over here for you to try. Have a go at these. Once you are finished, upload it onto class charts for your teacher to mark. Good luck.